a number of people have asked me, well, who is this Andre Compra and why are you doing an opera by this person that, that is very little known? He must not be terribly important. I think it's important to point out that Lully's music was not terribly well known uh, internationally until 1987 when the first really successful revival uh, of a Lully opera took place in, in 1986-87. And at that, that was a moment in which people discovered this composer who was an important name in music history books, but performances were not very convincing. And at that moment, people realized how exciting and how accessible the music was. And then the next step was that people took a jump from Lully to Rameau, the next most famous composer of, of, of French opera, and then there was a movement in, in the 90s to move back and, and rediscover Charpentier. And we have at the Boston Early Music Festival had a long history of performances of rediscovering Charpentier's wonderful uh, operas like Acteon and uh, La Couronne de Fleurs and La Descente d'Orphée aux Enfers. And now Campra is the, is the most important figure in between the Lully Charpentier generation and the generation of, of Rameau. And it's simply been the case that until very recently, no one has actually undertaken to produce an opera of Campra to find out what makes them tick. And I think everyone involved in this project has, has experienced multiple wow moments or ah moments during the rehearsal that we knew the music was full of color and full of variety and full of interest. But the laments are the quality of the greatest laments of, of Lully. The dance music is of the very highest quality and the Italian music is outstanding in its own right as, as Italian. Uh, opera. So I think as we've rediscovered Campra, I think the audience is in for a wonderful, wonderful surprise that this is a major composer of very, very high quality.